With a population of just 214 people, Chilico is a rural town in the Australian outback of Queensland. The once thriving mining town is home to Chilico Mungana Caves National Park, which is what drew us here. It smells dank. How's it look? Um, I don't know. I can't see very far. I really wish I didn't wear a hat. <laughs> I thought for sure it would be cooler in here. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> you like that face? It's my lighting my own shots. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I feel like you. <laughs> Just because of the shot. <laughs> Send me to my death. when there's freaking bats in here. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. Okay. This feels like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah, why does it smell like weed in here? This is definitely giving Blair Witch vibes. Sweaty Blair Witch vibes. Oh yeah. I'm just dripping. <laughs> We, we thought it would be colder in here and it'd be a relief. We thought me. that this would be a relief. Turns out we were very wrong. Yeah. At least you look cute. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> This is insane. Let's do it. I realize the context of scale is entirely lost in this footage, but this room was absolutely massive. This is a snake skin. Here's part of it. It runs all the way up here. It looks like it's like stuck to the rock. Crazy. Well, apparently there's snakes in here. Formed over 400 million years ago, these unique limestone formations were once an ancient reef. I love these spines. Over time, the caverns and passages were carved out by fluctuating groundwater levels. Disco. Sweaty disco. Sweaty disco. Once we learned that this area had essentially been a part of an ancient version of the Great Barrier Reef, it was easy to see the history written onto every formation that sprung out of the outback.
Even though we had been warned by locals that it was incredibly rare to see a platypus in the wild, we had to do our due diligence. Natural wonders and animals from other countries often feel so improbable and far off that they might as well exist on another planet altogether. But here we were, halfway around the world, locking eyes with a mythical creature that has sparked wonder in us since our childhoods. A platypus is a fascinating animal that seems to be made up of all the spare parts left over from other animals. A bill like a duck, a beaver-like tail, a platypus lays eggs, but it's a mammal. This brief sighting was one of the most moving experiences from our entire time in Australia. While exploring this cave, a park ranger pointed out to us that the limestone was made up of tiny shell fragments. More evidence that despite the dry climate we stood in, this land very much used to be underwater. It's estimated that there are nearly a thousand caves in the Chiligo Mungana area, a lot of which you can explore on your own. However, there are a few that require you enter with a park ranger. It's around 400 million years old. Wow. So once upon a time, Chiligo was covered in a shallow sea. It is so cool. These incredible formations were made by centuries of groundwater flowing down through the porous rock above. Then, the limestone deposits collect into elaborate formations as the water drips to the cave floor. And how did they see? Wow. This cave in particular has a formation unlike any in the world. A massive limestone chandelier wing, thousands of pounds, dangles from a single small stalactite. So at one time, it was one breathtaking. Time. Then the underground water tables came up and washed all your mud and salts away. Wow. This is a spectacular space. This trip wouldn't feel complete without a visit to our friends over at Norweld and their CAMS headquarters. This is where all of their trays and canopies are designed and made, including our very own Norweld flatbed back home. 
It was incredible to meet the talented people behind a company that's been an integral part of our lives for the last six years across two different vehicles. Their passion for their craft is evident in every meticulous detail. Thank you to Norweld for making this the quintessential Australian overlanding experience by letting us borrow an absolute weapon of a rig. Look at me using a little bit of Australian slang. It was a real treat to explore an unfamiliar place in a vehicle that felt like a little slice of home. Our time in Australia was coming to a close. It was hard to leave knowing that we had barely scratched the surface in this massive and diverse country. We had seen and learned so much in our two weeks. But leaving with unfinished business ultimately felt like a good thing. Coffee in like three whole days. I think those are espresso beans. It's good though. Mm. It's a very real boost of flavor. We were leaving more curious than ever after getting a small taste of what this incredible country had to offer. But we were also leaving with an even bigger hunger to come back for more. But our journey doesn't actually end there. For more of our epic journey through the South Pacific, check out our series Applied Theory, which is exclusively available on the X Overland Network.